Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast with Jane Rogers, where we discuss science to help prevent cognitive decline. I have the Alzheimer's gene, APOE4, and I always thought that increased my chance of getting the disease. Today's guest has found a way to negate the disease-causing effect of this allele. In his book, published in 2021, Dr. Dan Goodenow lays out an entirely new theory to me as to what causes Alzheimer's, especially in those with APOE4. The physical process of releasing neurotransmitters into that synaptic cleft requires these vesicles, these little spheres that contain your neurotransmitters. They come to the membrane and then they release their neurotransmitters. That fusion and release process is dependent upon plasmalogens. Okay, they're the ones that, they're the critical molecule in the membrane that allows vesicles to fuse and release their neurotransmitters. So when membranes become deficient in plasmalogens, for the neurological perspective, you get an impairment of, of synaptic function. When you're young, you have good plasmalogens. <clears throat> Your APOE4, E4 is actually protective against certain bacterial and viral infections because it creates a, a a more stable cellular structure. But as we get older and when you start losing the plasmalogens, all of a sudden the the two people in the three-legged race are no longer balanced anymore. Okay, so you have the the plasmalogens as they become deficient, specifically the the omega-3 plasmalogens. Those are the ones that regulate cholesterol transport. Um, They're no longer carrying their share of the cholesterol export. And since the APOE4 is already, is more, APOE4 carriers are more dependent on the plasmalogen mediated cholesterol export than an E3 or E2 carrier. So they become more susceptible or, or they're, they're more affected by a plasmalogen deficiency in their membranes. So long story short, <clears throat> if you have high levels of DHA plasmalogens, um, it doesn't matter what your E4 carrier status is because it balances out that and it neutralizes that risk factor. People with high plasmalogens live a lot longer than people with low plasmalogens, like a 30 years longer. It's not, it's not a small thing. And you know, your plasmalogen levels are more important than your age in terms of your longevity and your, your functionality. <laughs> 